Hey everybody, LogiBomb82 here with the Minecraft Union. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a dedicated Hellion server for Windows. I did a previous video and pretty much everything's the same except for a couple things. I didn't want to make it, I didn't want to just leave the old video up and confuse people, so I wanted to update the video. So, first thing you need to do is you need to be on your dedicated server. I have not tried hosting and running and playing on the same machine. I know a lot of times you have to change ports and do other things to get that to work. So if that's what you're trying to do, I can't really be any help to you. I've only done this on a dedicated server. So with that said, um, let's get started. I'm going to show you what to do. First thing you need to do is you need to forward some ports on your router and firewall. Um, the only one that has to be forwarded <coughs> um, to connect to the game server is 5968. And that connects you to the Hellion server list. So basically your server is visible. I also forwarded 5969 and 5970 because you need to forward two more. I'll explain those here in a second. Um, and I'll also put that in the video description just to make it easier for everybody. So first thing you need to do is go to Steam CMD. And I'll put this link in the uh, description as well to make it easier. You want to download the Windows version. Click this link right here. Hit save. You'll save it. Once it's saved, you're going to want to uh, go to it and extract it basically. Um, you can extract it anywhere. I like to put mine on the desktop to make it easy. Just wonder, wherever you get it extracted to, just open it. You'll see you'll see a Steam CMD. So run that. You want to type in login anonymous. Hit enter. It's going to download all these files if you don't already have them. Then you're going to want to do app underscore update, and then the ID number for the Hellion servers are five nine eight eight five zero, and then hit enter. It's going to download all the files for Hellion. I've already done it, so that's why you're not seeing it. But um, that's this is also how you update the server. When you need to do a server update, you just go in here and do this exact same thing, and it'll update it. <clears throat> Once that's done, you can hit exit. And then you need to go to Steam Apps, Common. Then here will be your Hellion dedicated server. You're not going to see quite all these files. Um, my server has some saves and different things in here. But the, the very first thing you're going to do is go up here to View on your file explorer and then under file name extensions you want that checked okay that, that's going to make it easier um, when we make our dot bat you don't have to do quite as many steps so first thing we're going to do though you're going to see a file here it's going to be called game server i think it's dot example oops i spelled that wrong but anyways it's going to have something i forget what it said i think it was example so you're going to want to delete that out you want it to be just game server dot ini you're going to want to right click on it. You're going to want to do an edit. I always use Notepad++. You can use Notepad. It's fine. Whatever. Um, you're going to see four values. I've added the, the bottom one here. You're going to see a server name, server password, game client, status port. So this is where you put, obviously, your server name and your password. This is where I did the, uh, the port. So for the game client port, this is how somebody's going to connect to your server. I just made mine 5969. You can make it whatever you want. Same thing with the status port. It's this is this show is is basically to show the status of your server. I just made mine five nine seven zero to keep it in line. So those two can be any ports though. I just wanted them to keep it close to the five nine six eight, which is default. You you uh, you don't you don't edit that in here unless I think you can, but then I don't think you, uh, the Hellion dedicated. I don't think you would be in the Hellion dedicated server list. So I don't think you really want that. So I've added the max players here. You can add any of these values. You basically just just add it up here and put the number in. So I put the 20 in for max players. Once that's done, you just go file save. Then you can close it. Next thing you want to do is you want to right click on this the window anywhere and go new text document. And you want to name this Hellion start or something. It doesn't really matter. Dot BAT. Hit enter. Oh, you want to get rid of the text part. My bad. Get rid of that text part. This is why we did the show file extensions up top to make it easier. So now you should have a hellion start dot bat of some sort. I've already done this up here at hellion dot bat. And what you want to put in this is just hellion underscore dedicated dot exe space dash scan. And then you're going to want to save that file and then run it. And what it does, you'll see a window pop up just for a second. It downloads the start all dot bat and stop all dot bat and puts it into your folder here this is how you will start and stop the server so once that is done 
you are good to go. That's all you got to do. So just go down here and hit start all.bat. You'll see your server pop up. And here's that server name we put in earlier and the .ini and some other basic info. Once that window is up, you might right click on your taskbar to make sure it's actually running, which it is. There's Hellion dedicated, so that's perfect. And you're good to go. Um, everybody should be able to see your server on the server list and join through there. Uh, I want to send a big thank you out to the Zero Gravity team for allowing me early access to uh, do these videos and to play the game, which it is awesome. Uh, I do highly recommend anybody who, who is interested in Hellion, you watch some of the Let's Play videos that the devs have put out. They help you uh, learn the basics a lot. And uh, the really uh, the game is really fun, especially when you know what you're doing. The first couple of videos I did, I struggled, and uh, it was I was a little confused. But once you watch some of those videos, you really get it. So, if you liked my uh, video, please like it here on YouTube and uh, follow me on Twitch as Logic Bomb eighty two, and uh, obviously here on YouTube as Minecraft Union. Thanks for watching. Enjoy Hellion.